Was flapping, Mucky Flickers. Shall we have a look and see what the postman has bought for Monkey Boy today? Yes, let's. Here's a couple of packages. Oh, look at these. We'll get into the smaller one first, I think. See what we've got. Uh, ah, ha, ha. Some of you will recognise these immediately. We've got a couple of vintage Kenner mask figures here. So let's have a look at these. First up, we've got Brad Turner with the Hocus Pocus mask. Here he is with his shades. He's in reasonable condition. Um, doesn't seem to be too much paint wear, so it's quite a good good figure. His knees are not incredibly floppy, so he's done pretty well. So there he is, Brad Turner. Look at my face. And the Hocus Pocus mask. If I can get it to focus. Focus, there you go. Um, the Hocus Pocus mask uh, generates holograms um, of whatever the wearer decides to to generate. Obviously it doesn't actually generate those holograms, you just have to use your imagination. Um, but there we are, there's Brad Turner. Uh, a little bit more about him in a while, I feel. Um, when we open the other package, you can probably guess what's in that one, because I know what's in it. And here we have Bruce Sato. Sato. Sato? Sato. Sato? Sato? Stratos? Stratos? Stratos. Ah, help me! Anyway, here's Bruce Sato with the lifter mask. Let's take that off and have a look at him. There he is. Look at my face. There he is, pretty good. Um, doesn't look like there's any paint wear on him. His knees are nice and stiff. So yeah, there he is, that's pretty cool. And we've got the lifter mask here. One of my favorite masks, actually. I think that's a pretty cool one. Uh, the lifter mask uh, has has the uh, the power to levitate things. I mean, obviously, it doesn't actually levitate things. You just have to use your imagination. But there's Bruce Sato, um, the co-pilot or co co-driver of the Rhino vehicle, um, which we're not going to be looking at today. Um, but there's there's Bruce and bringing Brad back in there's one thing that Brad's missing and that's his ride spoiler alert I think that's what's in here let's have a look Good stuff. Here we are. One of the most iconic toys of the 80s. This is of course Brad Turner's Condor vehicle. And we have it in a nice baggie here. So let's have a look and see what kind of condition this is in. <clears throat> First impressions look pretty good little bit of scuffing on the top there um, the sticker's not in bad shape I've seen better but it's it's not in bad shape so yeah here is Brad Turner's Condor vehicle absolutely fantastic toy um, I think pretty much everyone I know had this as a as a child um, it was basically your your entry level vehicle into the mask line. Um, this was one that 
most people had. I did actually sell mine um, many years ago um, at a car boot sale, or I believe they call it a flea market in the States. Um, and I, I really wish I hadn't. But I've picked one up now, managed to get one on eBay for a reasonable price. It didn't have Brad Turner with it, so I've had to buy him separately. Obviously, we saw him a little earlier on. Look at my face. And so there we are. So the Condor vehicle has got quite a simple transformation. You just pop up the, the back here. That lifts up. Sides flip out to make the rotor blades of a helicopter and the back spins out. I think these might be the same wheels that are on the the vampire vehicle. Um, but there we are, there's, there's the Condor vehicle. Let's get Brad Turner in and sit him on and sit him on the vehicle. Ready for action. There he is. Fantastic. He's ready to go. Cool. There's Brad Turner and Condor. So that's probably all I've got for today. So I'm going to flap off now. See you later. Bye.